Okay, you're probably wondering what the heck are these guys gonna do today? And you're asking all the right questions. We removed the barrel of a 500 Smith & Wesson. Everyone is always getting the longest or the shortest barrel. And they're usually one and a half, two inches, three inches. This was, I don't know, two and a half inch or something. And this was right here in the front. So nobody has ever shot a revolver with no barrel to see what happens, especially the biggest one. This is a 500 Magnum and we're gonna shoot it. I thought about holding it and firing it, but I was like, there's no way. There's, God knows what's gonna happen. Obviously there's no barrel. There's like threaded uh, stuff in there in the middle. I don't even know how much power it's gonna have. Is the bullet gonna come out in like pieces, fragments, a bunch of stuff, a lot of fire probably. So the safest thing to do is just strap it to this thing here like this and fire it. Just ready. No more talking. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> this is what we put together. I should bring this a little closer, right? Why is it so far? On. I, 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 now I sound like a wrestling guy uh, when they are ready to fight. <laughs> I'm ready. Ready to rumble. <laughs> ready to rumble. <laughs> okay, so we have two different uh, ammo. They're both from Underwood Ammo. One is Extreme Penetrator. This goes about 1,650 feet per second. And this one, 1,200 feet per second, but it's, this is 700 grain. There's side by side comparison. So I'm really curious what's gonna happen to this, the big boy, because it fills in the entire cylinder like that. From the beginning to the end. Wait, wait, don't move, okay. You can't get any bigger than that. So, uh, and there's no room for it to go into any barrel. The only thing is this little half inch frame, part of the frame they'll go through, but there's, it won't even, it won't even have any pressure because look how big the, uh, there's, there's gap in there. So there's not enough, there will be no pressure built in there. So the only thing that'll have any pressure inside will be the cylinder. So we'll see what happens. This will be really interesting. Okay, just ready. First, let's do the extreme penetrator. Um, not sure how I'm gonna do this. First, I obviously have to put the round in. Okay. Okay, we're good here. Uh, you got it? Yeah, I got it, but do I go like this? I should go like this, right? Angle? Okay, and we're gonna have to duct tape this a little bit. gun doesn't move. Every man should have a duct tape and a 500 Magnum. If you don't have one, you know a man. You know a man. <laughs> Cabron. <laughs> okay. I don't have my hand with a whistle. Cabron, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I need one. <laughs> I need one. <laughs> okay, we are good. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is ready. Okay, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. The bullet came out. <laughs> Does the gun look okay? Yeah, the threads in there where the barrel uh, threads in looks fine. Upon inspection, everything looks fine. You can screw that barrel back in there, you won't even notice it was gone. There's the 500, looks okay. It busted open this whole thing here. <laughs> this ripped water damage the bullet went into the top because I think when I pulled it it kind of like lifted the barrel up the uh, the revolver so it went up higher so maybe I should bring up this a little bit higher but there you have it uh, we don't have the bullet yet it destroyed that so it does do it does come out with a lot of force 
obviously it then uh, it curved off and went up. So let's do it again, round two. We'll use the 700 grain. Like this. Something like that. What do you think? Perfect. 500, we catch you, cabrona. Yeah, this time we catch you. You ain't going nowhere. Okay, let's do 700 grain. And again, like I mentioned, takes up the entire cylinder. This will be really interesting. Okay, round two. This thing probably not gonna, well, I have one slot here available, let's see. Oh. What's up, Spetty? You don't have a knife on you, do you? No. Today, no, because... You forgot it? Uh, yes. Okay, good luck, guys! One, two, three, fire the hole! <laughs> oh, man. Is there a warranty on Smith & Wesson's? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, because this one... Uh, destroyed something. It destroyed something. The cylinder, what happened? <laughs> it's not coming out. Oh. Yeah, bend the cylinder. It's, or it's just stuck. I need to hammer this back or something. It's bent, cabron. No, this is part of the cylinder. It pops open. But... It won't even come out. I need a hammer. You can see it's kind of not aligned properly. <laughs> Cabron, you don't see here, it's bent. Here. No, no, that's, that's part of it. That's, oh. that's how that is. Oh, really? Okay, we'll mess with this later. It's bent, so there's no way I can... Uh, something happened. I gotta go give this to my gunsmith, see? If he can fix it. I don't know. Ah, uh, pa, 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 came out, obviously. Oh, went inside. Went here on the lower end. Oh, here's a bullet. I don't know how many sheets of paper went through, but maybe one rim and the bullet broke and this is not well it's actually possible because this is lead look at that so we cut the bullet it didn't destroy the threads inside but somehow something happened to the well obviously we saw what happened Hopefully Smith & Wesson doesn't see this and does wait, not wait, give me warranty wait, wait, on this. Let me pick it up. This, okay, hopefully yeah. what? Hopefully Smith & Wesson doesn't see this and not uh, uh, say you know the warranty one. on this gun. I'll just send it and see what they'll do. Maybe they'll send me a new one. Hey, here's a bullet. Yeah, there's a bullet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can you fire Smith & Wesson with no barrel? Yes, you can. Okay, well, that's the video. I forgot to mention my uh, belt. Sent to me by grip6.com. They send me a bunch of buckles. You can customize your package. I'm giving away some single Come on, ones. there's a shadow over there. Where? Uh, on the buckles. Oh, perfect. Okay, here they are. You can customize uh, to have different buckles in there. They send different belts. They send me this one, just pretty. You can use it for your holster. One thing I love about them is uh, how easy it is to put on see that just kind of slides right in there like that you put that in there and there you have it and this tucks right in the back here into your pants see here you have it they have work belts tactical belts whatever you want it they got to check it out and that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, 
check out grip6.com there will be a link in the description I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and as always thank you for watching we'll see you guys next time let's go